Today we're going to learn how to replace the screen on a Samsung Chromebook laptop computer. As you can see, the screen is cracked up here on the corner. And uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is to remove the, the face of this uh, screen, uh, the basil around the corner and the edges. And the way you do this is to gently pull apart the screen. You can do it on one corner. And there are these little hooks in there that um, catch and uh, you got to pull those apart very gently and be sure not to break any of them. Now, what I used to do this with is a metal letter opener. It's real thin, not too sharp, but it's thin enough and sharp enough to get in there. And you just kind of pry gently and go across till you find the next one. And then pry real gently and they will pop apart. You just have to go very slow, very gently, and pop them one at a time and they won't break. Uh, so, but if you go too fast, you risk breaking those little catches and uh, maybe even breaking the basil itself. So we'll do that and we'll get back to replacing the screen. We've completely removed the, the front basil from the, from the laptop uh, by just gently prying apart the edges all the way around. And one of the things I wanted to point out is there is a piece of plastic down here at the bottom that had some adhesive on it and it was stuck to the front uh, plate when I pulled it off. It kind of ripped. Uh, it kind of protects this little circuit board on the display. You don't have to worry too much about that because it is included on the replacement display, at least the one that I have anyway. And the next step is we're going to remove, uh, there's four screws in the screen that holds it on, one on each corner. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a screw up here and a screw here. The one on this little tab is the only one we need to remove. We don't need to remove this one. And likewise, down at the bottom, there's a screw here. I've already taken this one out and you don't need to remove these screws. They kind of look like they're holding the display on, but they're not. Bottom right corner, there's one screw. Top right corner, there's one screw. So we'll get the screen removed and uh, we'll uh, see what we're left with. Now we've removed the uh, display and kind of laid it down on the keyboard. you got to be careful because I keep hitting the power button, turning the unit back on. Of course, you want the power off for this process. And there is one connector here uh, that connects the screen. And there's a little tab that you pull up and gently separate from the plug. Work it back and forth and it should come right off. And we'll get rid of the old display. And we have the new display, uh, as you can see. And there is a plastic coating on it. We'll wait till we get it on, pull that off with that tab. And we'll mount the uh, screen in there and uh, be back to show you the finished product. And so now we've replaced the display and uh, put the four screws in the corners again to mount it plugged it in on the back before I, I put the screws in, of course, and uh, we'll go ahead and peel this plastic coating off that protects the display. As you can see, it's working beautifully. And uh, I'll go ahead and replace the basil, and that concludes our video. I hope this has been helpful to someone, and appreciate you watching.